everyone and welcome back to another video and in today's video we're going to do an article concerning the update to the person who tried to assume the identity of the missing child Timothy Pitson. But before we get started, if you enjoy the videos on this channel, if you enjoy the commentary on this channel, please like, share, and subscribe. So let's get into the article. All right. Accused Timothy Pitson impersonator hit with new charges. And here he is. Uh, this is the, the man who tried to act as if he was a 14-year-old boy. Uh, his name is Brian Reaney. Uh, he showed up one day and approached a woman and said that he had been kidnapped and said that he was actually Timothy Pitson. Now, if you're not familiar with this story, um, this Timothy Pitson was a little boy who went missing when he was six years old. He was with his mother. His mother ended up uh, killing herself, they said, and leaving a suicide note that, that he was with other people and that no one would ever find him. I'm actually going to leave a link uh, in the description box to a YouTube channel that actually did like a little documentary on this case. But it's sad because I think that the mother may have actually killed the boy and the family is really, they're holding on to hope that he is alive. But he went missing in 2011. Um, his father had dropped him off at school. Then shortly thereafter, his mother picked him up and they went on to to water parks and I guess did some other things and then she was found dead uh in the hotel in a hotel room or a motel room and the boy has not been seen since and no there's no clues um to, to where he could be and she did leave the note saying that no one would ever find him so if you want to do some looking into it you know just look up the story uh and check out the video that I drop in the description box the 23-year-old convicted felon, who authorities said falsely identified himself as long-missing Illinois boy Timothy Pitson, triggering a multi-state police investigation and drawing nationwide attention earlier this month, could spend up to 10 years in prison. Now, I'm looking at this guy. I wonder, how did he pull off looking like a 14-year-old? Because in this picture, which is undated according to the caption, he looks like a full-grown man. I don't know how he thought he was going to get away with that. A grand jury indicted Brian Michael Reaney this week on two counts of making false statements to a federal agent and one count of identity theft. He had been charged with only one count of making a false statement to a federal agent when he was arrested April 5th. Okay, so they've added on to his charges. The indictment filed Thursday morning also reveals Reaney told authorities he wished he had a father like Timothy's. And here is a picture of um, missing Timothy uh, Pitson. So, you know, he was, he was, ac he's actually an ex-felon. And I wonder if he had been following this case and, you know, and he figured he you know, will infiltrate the, their lives so that he can live the family life that he may have always wanted. Who knows? But I used to watch a television, sh a television show, or it was a drama show. I don't know if I watched it on Netflix. I can't remember. But it was called The Family. And it was kind of similar to this, of course, with little plots and twists in it. But this story reminds me of that show. It's called The Family. I actually really liked it. If you get a chance, um, to, if you can find it, I would encourage you to watch it if you're into this, if you're, you know, following this Timothy Pitson story. Reaney of Medina, Ohio, was found April 3rd in a neighborhood in Newport, Kentucky, across the Ohio River from Cincinnati. He had approached a woman asking for help and claiming to be Timothy Pitson, who went missing at age six, nearly eight years ago. So that means he's about 14 years old now. He told authorities he had been suffering from physical and sexual abuse from his captors, the prosecutor says. So, you know, he knew who this little boy was, so evidently he planned this. Um, he knew that the boy had been missing uh, for eight years. 
He knew exactly where to go. So, you know, this is scary when someone tries to assume another person's identity and he's trying to assume a child's uh, identity. And my thing is, I would think, maybe, I don't know. Do you think that the parents would have immediately recognized that that was not their son? Especially the mother, you know, like, is there some like maternal instinct going on that says, nah, this, this, this is not my son. You know, I, I, I wonder about that. After police met with him and told the public they might have found the missing boy from Aurora, Illinois, Rena, Rene complained about abdominal pain and was taken to a children's hospital in Cincinnati, in Cincinnati. But a day later, a DNA test revealed he was not the missing child. Okay, so that was his biggest mistake. That is what got him caught. He went to the hospital. I, I mean, at some point, they were going to end up doing a DNA. Maybe this man had been in jail for so long, he didn't really realize uh, that DNA was going to be taken from him at some point. But I'm glad that we do have DNA tests because it is able to, you know, convict people of crimes that they're guilty of. And in this case, it, it uh, exposed an uh, impersonator who tried to assume the identity of a boy that has been missing since he was uh, six years old. Prosecutor said Rini told him told them he learned about the missing boy in an episode of ABC's 2020 news show and wanted to get away from his family. He also falsely claimed to be a child sex trafficking victim in at least two separate occasions, authorities said. So this guy's just he's just sick in his head. He's he, he's not well. Timothy was last seen with his mother in Wisconsin on May 13th, 2011. The woman was found dead by suicide in a Rockford, Illinois motel a day later. A note found in her room stated that the boy was safe but would never be found. And, you know, if you watch that documentary, I think she may have killed the boy. I hate to say that. And, you know, you don't want to think that, but... He has not surfaced. Um, his body hasn't even surfaced. So I, the family is holding on to hope that, you know, there's nothing to say that he's actually um, not around. But they're still hoping that he is alive. And I hope he is, too. You know, we've been surprised in the past by children who made national news and then they end up finding them. So, you know, hopefully he's not um dead he's still alive and he can be reunited with his family but i kind of feel that he may not be alive and that's just my personal opinion but in either case this family deserves some answers and they deserve some closures and for her to just leave a note like that and then take her own life uh that was totally unfair Rini, who was released from prison last month, is scheduled to be arraigned Friday afternoon. Oh, so he was released from prison. I guess they don't consider impersonating someone a serious crime. And it looks like that is the end of the article. Okay. So he's released from prison. Um, this six-year-old boy who is now 14 is uh still missing nobody knows where he is and this is his picture again of what he uh looked like back then and um this is just sad and when you listen to the father uh, his father is like devastated and you know he had a and Timothy had a really close relationship with his father i think there may have been some issues going on with the mother um, I don't believe they were divorced or anything. I think they may have been living together, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But she picked him up from school, you know, at, right after he dropped the little boy off from school. But the video that I'm going to put in the description box, um, they actually have video surveillance footage of the mother, of, of, of the child with the mother. And they interviewed the father and a couple other relatives. So... That will take care of this with this um, article that I'm reading, and I'll try to keep a follow-up on this story. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.